Pascal's account to send you. And, and, and it's very heartening to hear what uh, friends around the table have, uh, have actually expressed. And uh, particularly, um, I want to actually make a clarification. Uh, and, and I, I, I did, I mean, I, I said a few words in my own way about Mubulbat's struggle. Uh, but I, perhaps I wasn't, uh, I wasn't very clear. Uh, with Maletto, who actually saw me and worked with me, uh, um, uh, was a bit more clear than me. But uh, look, Mukulbat stood for the right of his people, and his struggle was and he is for freedom. And uh, uh, to that extent, there is no confusion. Now, obviously, there are many issues to do with what has happened over, uh, over, over the uh, sort of, uh, uh, struggle during the past 20 years. There have been various. Uh, ups and downs and various influences. And these influences, some of these have been beyond our control, beyond the control of the people of Kashmir. And despite all those problems, insurmountable problems in some cases, we have stood firm. Those of us who have followed Mulbat and Mamullah, these two people actually began this struggle, irrespective of what people say here and there. These are the two people who began the struggle, the struggle for uh, um, a right of self-determination according to um, you know, uh, or independence. Of course, uh, there are many currents in the Kashmir struggle. And those currents cannot be denied. As long as the people of Kashmir support those currents, who as Democrats are weak to question the, the, the validity of those currents. Of course, India and Pakistan have influence in Kashmir and their influ influence is not necessarily positive influence. But we have to make a distinction between India and Pakistan. India over the past 20 year, years has killed 100,000 people, 100,000 Kashmiri people. And India has deployed uh, uh, around 700,000 troops to crush the sentiment of the Kashmiri people. Now, we may argue with um, the, the Pakistani attitude towards Kashmir or Pakistan's policy, but I think on the whole, we have to be fair, and as Kashmiris, we have always said that Pakistan needs to develop and evolve a Kashmir policy that is people-centric. And that Pakistan has to support the right of Kashmiris, uh, and that this right of Kashmiris is non-negotiable, as Professor Shah has often said, and I've heard it. So to that extent, all of us are agreed on this consensus. So let there be no uh, confusion over this. Now, jihad is taking place in Palestine. In, there are jihadi groups in Palestine, in Afghanistan, in Iraq. Now, we are not responsible for them. And jihadi groups have uh, gone into Kashmir. And, uh, you know, interpretation of jihad uh, is open. In the jihad itself, the concept of jihad is open to interpretations, and, and, and so on and so forth. For me, jihad simply is a word which means uh, offering your um, second, uh, offering you know struggling, struggling to achieve a just cause. Jihad does not mean um, that, uh, that you behead people or or do other things that perhaps are uh, popularly associated with. So uh, I mean, Lord Nizi, with your indulgence, I, I thought that I needed to, uh, to uh, make this uh, clear. Thank you very much, uh, Zafar Saab, Zafar Sharif. One minute. Thank you very much, Lord First of all. Um, over here and thank you to Lord Sab for um, organizing this program for us. He actually does it even on one email he organized the program, thank you very much. Uh, and he does it uh, for the last couple of years. And I congratulate him for becoming chairman of the World Party Kashmir Committee Group also. And uh, I think Lord Sab <coughs> uh, he has played and he would play uh, you know, a role which is required by this Kashmir cause. I joined this uh, struggle uh, with inspiration by Abul Matshahi and Ahmad Khan and uh, every year uh, reminding on this day Abul Matshahi uh, gives me reassertion of my commitment and I hope to continue and I hope everybody else to continue for this uh, noble cause that Kashmir becomes an independent state one day uh, and all this suffering uh, of women, children and ends one day, but uh, we do uh, pay tribute to Mukul Bhatshi for his sacrifice and his thousands of colleagues who have given their lives within the last uh, 15-20 years.